What's going on guys, Nico here and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to easily write dance melodies using three simple tricks. Here's the example we're gonna walk through today. Before we jump in, I'm giving away 10,000 royalty-free melodies from my ultimate MIDI pack. Comment down below Melody Mastery. We select one winner every Friday. Make sure you watch this video to the very end if you wanna become a better songwriter. Now, how did we create that melody in the drop? The nice melody that sounded like this. So I'm gonna walk through that here very simply in the key of C. So we're only using the white keys. And if you didn't know what the chord progression was, that's okay, because you probably heard it, it was a little bit dark and sad. So whenever we're creating sadder melodies over these chord progressions, the first tip is using sad melody starters. Now on the keyboard right here, you'll notice there's numbers on it. It's labeled on the white keys, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the key of C major. So I have these combinations after studying all these songs that are very common places to start when writing melodies. For example, you can literally play these notes, the six, three, and six over any sad chord progression in the key and it's gonna sound good. And if you just listen to me play it over this chord progression here, which is the same chord progression from the song, just in the key of C. So the 636 is an awesome one. Another great one to do is just walk down the scale. You know how many popular dance songs use this? So, so many, hundreds of dance songs just walk down the scale. Ready? And you don't even really need to know, you know, need to know piano that well, just, or you can draw in the notes, right? It's that simple. So I gave you 636 and then walking down the scale, and you can see it on the screen. And there's one more, it's six, three, four, three. Then, then. This already creates a nice melody. And there's the second part of it, which is the stepwise motion versus the jumps and the leaps. So if I just show right here and play this progression, you see I'm going back and forth between the six and the three. If you play all the white notes, a step is just going up from one white note to the next. Like it sounds very classical, it's a lot of stepwise motion. Now the jumps are when you jump all the way around from all the notes. Right, so that's jumps and leaps, right? So what we're doing is, to make the melody better, we're combining both stepwise motion and the jumps. And a great jump is a perfect fifth. And the six three, is known as a perfect fifth. I don't want to go too crazy in the music theory. I want to keep it fun, but you can see. These are known as steps. So we're combining our steps and our leaps, and this is actually what creates those melody starters I spoke about. Now, I just know this from playing the piano, and if you wanna learn more about piano, check out our Modern Piano Masterclass down below in the description, because we go through a lot of this stuff, but something I wanna note here, and I wanna record the melody as I play it, and you'll see it here that I'm playing it, so. I wanna show you what's going on in the melody here that I really, really like. A lot of these Brazilian bass songs, they have something called stepwise downward motion. a -lock uses it. A lot of the producers you love use this in so many different genres as well. And you can just look at it right here. I'll zoom in. What do we have going on? And I'll quantize this so it's all on the grid. And I'll just solo it. Pull up our keyboard. I'm not, I don't need the numbers on it. I can just look at it. 
You're basically doing stepwise motion, but you're going down. So if you look at the scale, if I wanted to do this little trick of stepwise downward motion, that's what I call it. I have another nickname for it, but I'll tell you later. Now let me do it in very, very slow motion. I'm on this key and I jump over a white key. I go up one step. Jump over a white key, up one step, over a white key. So simple. No one's teaching this stuff really though because they don't want you to know their secrets, but I am more than happy to share them with you because I want to grow this channel, I want to help you guys out, and I want you guys to support me and what I'm doing here. Uh, with piano for producers and music creators. So that concludes this video. These are the steps. And if you listen to it during the drop, something really cool we did, and I'll show you this before we end the video, is that I took these horns, and if we play the horns with the lead bus, it's really cool. So we did that stepwise motion I showed you earlier with our horns here, right? So it's just really cool stuff that we were doing. And again, there's obviously a lot of stuff going on in this drop. It needs a vocal uh, to add. We have our nice bass line here, which I can cover in another video, but you can just listen to it. It's got a great... So... Let's add our top kick in here too. I like this one a lot. I created this one and we just need a nice vocalist on it to really finish out and produce out the rest of the song. But that concludes this video, guys. Again, there's three takeaways from it. One, look at the keyboard. Look how we're going up. Look how we're going down with the minor melody starters. Then from there, look at the stepwise motion and also look at the downward stepwise motion trick I showed you earlier. Combine that all with the melody and you're gonna be easily writing dance melodies. Really, these go more over dark progressions. On this channel, I have other videos with more happier melodies, sadder melodies, catchy melodies, you know the drill. So look, if you need a melody, I got you. Check out the mini packs down below. That's gonna conclude this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Subscribe, like the video, turn the notification bell on. You know what to do. Comment down below Melon Mastery. I'll see you in the next video.